the impact you have. And stuff. I'll take it. Um, yeah, Taxi had another very impactful game for us. Um, he's a player that performs well under pressure. Um, you know, it's enjoyable to have him on the field. Obviously, Julian and I have been able to have a good relationship forming with him um, on and off the field. It's been it's been very nice. He's brought a positive uh, mindset impact into the team. Um, you know, you could see on on the goals too. He's a he has a killer instinct in front of the goal. So it's it's good to have his presence on the field uh, and off the field in, in the locker room too. He's a, he's a very good guy to have around in the team. Julian, did you uh, imagine you echo Russ's thoughts, but what were your uh, views of tonight's tonight's goals? I mean, it's, uh, Taxi is a guy I think that brings something to our team that, that we've missed a little bit. And that's, you know, that final, that final ball, that final, you know, once he is in a, in a scoring position that he really finishes the chances. Um, and today he got, you know, I think, Obviously, with the corners, we were able to talk it through on the um, the one before he scores. It's actually just like off the cuff. I'm just telling him to just run, and you know, we kind of figure it out. Um, we're actually us three are out there to figure it out in German, basically. You know, so um, it's those little things that we we try and get an edge on on other teams. Um, and he's smart. He's you know a good guy. Understands the game. Has obviously like like Russ said, a really good connection with us and. Um, especially on that right side. Once he came over there, I thought we were pretty dangerous. So, you know, we're just trying to get him the ball in as many dangerous spots as we can. And um, then, you know, it's his quality that takes over that you can obviously see um, every game or, yeah, the two home games so far. Just, uh, Beth, thanks for speaking with us tonight. Congrats. Um, I wanted to ask a little about the other side of the ball where, um, you know, the last few games, I'm sure you've been tired of talking about set piece defending. Yeah. Tonight you come with a goal without conceding one. Also, I think they only had six shots in the end. Um, how is that as far as taking that step forward as a group to not just get a shot out, but like really give the goalkeepers very little to, to do tonight? Yeah, that, that's huge. I think it starts from top to bottom. It starts from our, our shape tactically, uh, from the forwards, the front three putting the work in, the organization from the midfield, and then obviously the defenders from behind. We didn't put ourselves in too many positions that we were you know, going to have uh, set pieces against. Um, you know, I think this week we would have been ready, even if those would have came, uh, we put, you know, a big stress on that this week in training. It's not something we've been happy about. We've lost, I uh, think, or we've had 13 goals against eight of them, seven or eight of them have been set pieces. So it's, uh, that's why we've been in this position. Um, but tonight was a good night that, you know, we didn't even put ourselves in, you know, in situations that were set pieces. So, um, I'm proud of the effort everyone put in on the defensive side because it translates from top to bottom, you know, into the, into the set pieces all the way to our pressing forward. So. Speaking of taxi, for example, right? Like it's Russ is saying that is a guy that's also clued in defensively and is willing to press, willing to play the way we want to play on, you know, on the defensive side of things. So um, he's been good in that sense. You know, there's some players in this league that come in, especially as DPs that aren't really, including that much defensively and then he's committed he's um all, all three of all three of them up front you know like russ is saying it's good and um the best way to not give up not not concede set piece goals is to not give up any set pieces simple as that right and then you know if they don't get into dangerous spots then you know it's even even better so um obviously a huge emphasis today was on on trying to keep a zero um we did that and then again our quality kind of took over in the, in the final third and we were able to score a couple of goals. Great, thank you. Um, you guys had three losses at home right after the home opener. Now you got two wins at home straight. How good does it feel to now have these two wins back to back when you're at home and how much you guys want to make home, like not just feel like home, but you know you're going to make it tough for opponents when they come down there. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to, right? I think especially in this league, if um, if you, you can take care of business at home, it's, you know, it's, um, you always say it, then, then you give yourself a chance to, to make the playoffs. And, and those are 17 games that we have at home and that we, you know, we try and win, um, at least three quarters of them and, and keep the points here. And, um, you know, it, it's obviously good to see that even on a night like tonight where, um, you know, it's not the prettiest, it's the prettiest weather to play in and all that stuff. We still bring the same intensity and, and are still there from the start and in in against a team that, we're not really familiar with, right? Because it's from the West and, and it's a bit a bit of a different preparation, but more preparation goes into it from from that standpoint. But um, again, yeah, we, we 
the home field is, is huge and, and especially home games we, we want to make sure that that we are on the front foot and that we play the way we play tonight and not give them any chances right take our chances when we get them and and win those games thank you other questions no, it's super helpful. Um, I, I honestly noticed mid game when they started drumming. Uh, yeah. I think it was the 10th minute. I looked up at the clock and was like, that's nice. Like, that's really nice to have their support. Um, I think it just gives us that little extra bit of intensity that we can, we can use as fuel um, to go after the game. And, and tonight, I know it wasn't uh, a great night from a fan's perspective for, for, you know, with the weather, but everyone who came out at, you know, I want to say thank you on behalf of the team because that was not easy. Obviously we didn't put up a good result in Columbus and then to come out and support us. Uh, it was, it was pretty special. So definitely, uh, definitely need that moving forward. Um, something that we find important and, and something that's made us strong over the last years since Audi field has opened up has been fans being here and, and supporting us. I feel like we've had a, a solid home atmosphere um, since the opening of Audi Field. That's obviously part of making home fields, you know, gives us an advantage, you know, and the, the fans are part of that. So, um, yeah, it was good to see, good to hear today. I heard him a couple of times too, where I looked up and I was like, oh, this is, this is good. We need this and, you know, we need the support because, um, you know, we'll be there uh, every time giving our, our all and, you know, playing the way we play with intensity, with, you know, grit and fight. And, you know, that's, I think, um, obviously, translates easy into the fans, so we uh, we obviously need their support um, when it comes to those those nights too.